Another means of accessing color inside of Photoshop is the color picker palette that you see right here. In this palette, as you'll notice, it also indicates to you the foreground and background colors, which are quite obviously right here. Um, I can manipulate these colors by using a slider, using the RGB value by entering it in numerically right here. Add more greens, add more blues. Notice if I was to keep this all on one side, we have perfect black. If we slide all the way to the other side, we get to our 100%. Also notice that there can be the ability to pick colors just simply like this. Or, as you can see here, I can pick out any color I want, similar to what we'll see with the eyedropper tool. And in there, you can just grab in the colors that you want. And in so doing, you can determine which colors you would prefer for your foreground or background colors. Also, as with any of the um, palettes that we'll have access to, there's often an options button right here. This option button allows you to do a number of different things. If we wanted to um, not show any of the colors here, we could put this as a grayscale slider and allow for any of these gray values. You can also change the CMYK. Uh, web color sliders, as you can see here, indicate web safe values. But um, you should know by now, if you don't already, that the WebSafe palette, which is limited to 256 colors, is not something that we generally are overly concerned with now in web design, simply because you couldn't even buy a monitor now that only supported that many colors. Uh, most monitors come with the support for millions of colors. So it's actually um, not something you should be overly concerned about, but the option is here if ever you do need to be that concerned. So that's the color picker, and we'll now move on to some other tools.